In this question, we're told that y is inversely proportional to the square of x. Now then, what this means is that if I do y times by the square of x, x squared, it will equal some fixed constant we'll call k. Now we can find k because when x is free, y is 8. So therefore, 8 lots of 3 squared equals k. Well, 3 squared is 9. 9 times 8 is 72. So this tells me that k equals 72. So this gives me an equation linking y and x. y lots of x squared equals 72. That's one form of the equation. The second form could be that y equals, if I divide by x squared, 72 over x squared. Either of those are valid rearrangements. Now then, in part b I'm asked to find out the value of y when x is 12. Now I can therefore jump to this rearrangement, because when x equals 12, y equals 72 over 12 squared. Well, 12 squared is 144. And if I then work this out as a fraction in its lowest form, that works out to be a half. So when x is 12, y equals a half.